situation day kwa api. Are you feeling like me? Ama ni bariri na kuna correlation. I don't know. But we niongeleje. Are you as hungry as I am feeling? At White Five Four Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter, Y54 underscore channel on the ground. Hashtag of the day is Thursday by Oscar Bunisana. If you are just joining us, this is the Lydia's Breakfast Show in this here town in this here city nani and it's a monday all the way through friday affair tunanzangana politics tunakafunga na starting your weekend on a weekday aya sasa ni kona guest mingine but first we give thanks for the previous interview with stephanie ayata of course and that was very ama ni hapo alianza kuongelea chakula ndio shida ikaanza maybe perhaps i don't know maybe but i did catch the interview and i feel quite blessed now i need i know one or more things than i did when i woke up this morning but again stephanie i hope we have time she'll come back and then just uh, in conclusion in summary but what to yaache hayo tuku tukaribisha mwingine mwenye amekuja sio ndio yeah how are you i'm fine oh kwaje niko fit una kafiti Thank you very much. Wana kuita nani? Mimi ni Tom Mohamed Ali, aka uh -huh. Moha Punch Boss. Ah. Uh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> okay, now it makes sense. Okay, yeah. now it makes a lot of, because Ali come in here Jinaken Moha. Yeah. Alafu anaimba gospel. So yeah, yeah. for a minute. Mhm. Mm Bana 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 so siezi jua alikuwa na stand wapi kwa faith but mm -hmm. uh, my grandma na wale wasi walikuwa around mimi the community you know see to make grow your place your community mm. to make grow your slum madhare so sisi ni watu wa community na unaweza pata hiyo community percentage big sana they were muslims mm -hmm. so ulikuwa unajipata tu unaingia tu mm -hmm. yeah yeah I'll walk me through that community life in Nasa. Sounds smart. So, eh, uh, mean ya Mavare, nime grow ya place in Tokyo Ndururu, somewhere hapo. Akukua na dreams, uh, our role models were thugs. Uh, unfortunately wengi wali pass. So, na the uh, opportunity ya job yenye ilikuwa pale most ilikuwa ni drugs. So, it's either ukue thug ama uingie kwa business ya madaza kulevia. Mhm. Mm but uh, I thank God, yani, God had a purpose in my life because sababu hiyo time percentage big sana people are Muslims. Na unajua God aki kukol, au utajua na kukol. Utapata tu yani kuna somehow vila na line to life yako. So tukiyotuizwa my area, nilikuwa ka, neza seba kafala flani. Kwa sababu mm -hmm. kuna wase walikuwa, they are there, nini vituka hizo. Kwa community tuku na ule mse yani ya nakagani kama ajuagi. Ni nini na happen <laughs> yani wako tu hapo yani mimi nilikuwa ga mtoyo wa grandma wangu yani unaona so nilikuwa ga tu anda her wings yani tu Aww. eh adhin akikupata tu places zingine anakupiga yani kwa sababu my grandma used to believe and as nifanyia kitu yoyote though at least some we were rich we were poor hiyo time tumeishi kwa nyumba matopi na nyesha kanje during time ya rain yani ndio ilikuwa time ya stress kwa sababu tuko tunesha kwa kasulo fulani so maji liko natoka juu kingia kwa keje kitoka nje but uh, i thank god yani kwa sababu hakuna mtu alikuwa msik it happened to my mom ndio my grandma ndio ali, alikuwa msik mm. so i grew up with her yani other responsibilities ni mob yeye ndo alinifunza hiyo time so mm. eh yeah. kama kupika kupika kufua cuz yeah, nilikuwa na unajua hiyo time mimi nilikuwa namfulia kwa sababu we had no one so nilikuwa mless so alikuwa tuna mfulia yani aniambia chukua sabuni paka kwa kola fanya hivi ya kwa bed so hawezi do kitu yote so kwa ma, nini my first food kupika ilikuwa chai so weka maji nini do hivi so hiyo time nilikuwa naona huma then kaa nionea ama very Mm -hmm. Yeah, mimi na believe kwa responsible. Hata nyumba yangu ukikuja uweze pata vitu ovyo ovyo. We, so I always that. yeah, I always. Hata kuna kuingia kurusha sok. Ah, I don't know do that. <laughs> <laughs> as fun material. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Material. yeah. Material. So hata <laughs> Ah, so as in mimi ule mse tu yani na believing mse anaweza kumkwa nyumba yangu anytime. So natakanga yani akitoka my first presentation yani akitoka hata kijoo jamaa. Ana kwanga kotu sawa. Taroho yako naona ni safi. 
Sikeja tu. <laughs> <laughs> As in try to yani. Mm -hmm. challenging but uh, unaona una sasa wewe unaona hivyo. Kuna msiana una vingine. Kuna msiani ako kwa life yako but she doesn't see that yani unaona. It's so, funny when you yeah, yeah. karibu ndo huwa hawaoni. So unless eh, we share ama unless we talk and you atajua ataanza kuona hey huyu jamaa alikuwa A B C D. So yeah. Ebu walk me through your transition. When when did you change your faith? Alafu uliona lini ndio sasa uanze kuimba juu ya hii faith yenye ume have. Okay. Eh uh, what I can say is that uh, you see during that time eh tukiwa pale madhare tumekuwa madhare we used to believe that it's the only dream yenye inaweza tutoa hii place kwa sababu saa hiyo ukienda utapata pa develop si tulikuwa place nyumba ya matope gorofa yani unaiona place moja moja unaona so ungesimama kwa kamlimu ungeona tu mabati brown yani as in the place ilikuwa ya kitambo our moms will grow ya hiyo place da nini vituka hizo unaona so ni kama ka generational things so pia nyinyi mnajipata tu mna grow kwa the same same house so eh naweza sema tumekuwa hiyo place for a very long time and uh don't make sure yani god akikuita yani we mwenye uta understand kwa sababu during that time we were so radical tulikuwa radical muslims i remember there was a time nikiwa hapo mosque nilikuwa nakumbuka nilikuwa nimevaa so tie red kanzu and then nilikuwa nimevaa sneakers hiyo sneakers ilikuwa imeraduka sawa yani <laughs> oh my god so hiyo uh, time eh uh, i saw a pastor pastor alikamtua hapo ndani nikaona huyu jamaa si si tu ni suicide huyu jamaa anatafuta yani so mosque ilikuwa tu nje barabara hapo so we started throwing stones nini vitu kai hizo juu amekaribia juu tu yani anakamtua kipritz juu jamaa aliamkasubia kasema leo acha niende nipeleke good news ndani ya mosque mm -hmm. <laughs> so we throw katupa stones nini vitu kai hizo and uh, i remember very well your place it was a busy busy road eh magari zinapita so mimi nilistukia tu mbona the, the guy the other side sijui alivukaje kama ona the other side mm. na kaishia so mimi na sema tu ni god siezi sema ati ni ujanja yangu ama siezi sema ati ni ati tu nili nilijua nili niliamka tu nikasema hivyo god alianza kuniconnect na wase mi ni kijana wa project nime grow ya my grandma alinishika mkono akanipeleka church place ingine ni to redeemed gospel church na kuaga korokocho mm. it was a project unaona we were so poor yani akani enroll hiyo side so nikakuwa nikisaidiwa huko napewa food tunapewa all those kind of stuffs zenye tuna need unaona so during hiyo period ndio nikaanza kukuwa connected na wase mm -hmm. unaona nikaanza kwa nikaanza nikaanza ku invite wa camps nikaanza ku invite wa manini all those kind of stuff but uh, nikiwa tu hiyo process kitu ikaanza kuni ikaanza kuni ni kama ilianza kuni ilianza kuni ilianza nilianza kukuwa curious eh yeah, unaona so niko hapo naanza kushindua mm -hmm. okay the other side tumekuwa tuki discriminate wase but the other side there is a grace yani unaona also i need invite kwa zima activities nilikuwa skao hiyo time makamps za hizo ma area yani naenda mwanzo nilikuwa tulikuwa tunaka one week yani one week yani life yangu nilikuwa na vitu tofauti mm -hmm. but every time tuko tunarudi home na kuwa stressed kwa sababu niliacha home kukiwa kubaya sasa so, zingine hata nilikuwa napewa food na neiba ama malipopote naenda kumanga naanza kufikiria home kukwaje sasa so, zingine hata nakataa kwa sababu unaona nikimanga na madhangu wako huko so haikuwa na nimekia sense na mtumia asikia kumpatia haga mani <laughs> ana ni stress so uzi uzi jali ni life at the end of the day so nikakuwa hiyo hiyo process eh nikaanza kuingililia crime hii hata ni wasee wengi hawajui even my own family you live ka point master alikuwa anapigana tisa ita si atakupigana tisa hmm. nilikuwa tunaingia kwa house hawa si tulikuwa tunasaidia hey, eh unanikuzia <laughs> mali niko hata ungozi nipite kwa barabara okay aduko aduko fika to that point eh hey. uh, i remember there is a friend of mine eh alikuwa unajua sometimes poverty inaweza kufanya ujipate place unaanza ku do vitu si right not because unataka but because una need to do una need all this kind of stuff madhara kwa kwa bed huyo ndo alikuwa anga hiyo breadwinner saa hii ni wewe anaangalia sometimes nilikuwa nafikiria tu ni hepe ni muache lakini naanza kufikiria huyo ni mwana nilipeleka usii kila time nikiwa msik alikuwa anlipia school fees alikuwa anadui ya nini saa hii naanza kuona she need me more 
more than before and you know mm. so unajipata tu kwa hapo unacheki sometimes unaangalia unaangalia mse mwenye at least anaweza anaweza saidia kubeba hii burden but uh, unapata uko tu alone unaona uko tu alone ule mse uliko unafikiria labda ndio ungetupeleka to the next level mm. unapata my, my my mom used to cry every day unaona alikuwa anashinaga jua analia kila wakati pain nini all those kind of stuff Sija grow kwa ile childhood ya kawa sio wengine. Mimi nimegrow nime kwa ile childhood yani kila time yani uko rada. Unaona? Kila time yani nilikuwa naogopa kwa kufail. Unaona? Kwa sababu sahi hata mali niko ki life yani kuna wasi wengi sana waniangalia. Wengine wanataka tu ni fail ndio waseme eh ule jamaa si tulisema unaona. Mm. Sasa zingine wengine ni kwa familia, wengine ni wapi unaona? So but uh, me for me I decided to soak myself kwa prayers. Unaona? Every day unamkasubui kanisani to pray mm-hmm. so kwa sababu huku nje una mse you can't even run anywhere mm-hmm. so even nimbe kwa life yangu since my grandma passed na to be honest nilifika mahali i started nikaanza kuambia god kaing ewezekana fadhali ungeniachie huko mathe nikangeni kijua gani yendo mmeniachia anyway nafa najua sifai ku shed tears but uh, aya mimi umesikia niki complain <laughs> let it go so nika grow your place and uh, i thank god kuna wasi tu ali believe in me unaona my first rap niliandika nikiwa sel kwa sababu hiyo time my best friend alikuwa ameshikwa hiyo time nilienda shule Nili, nilikuwa nimechata chuo so nikasema wacha nirudi shule maybe out of this education as i get something but uh, nikapele kwa samburu so kupele kwa samburu watu wakanizimia simu kwa kwa tu ni survive huko all those kind of your time yote Nyi, you understand how boarding is eh? mm-hmm. uh, boarding inakuanga poa wakati unajua a certain day my mom or my dad atakam ni cheki nini vitu kwa hizo so mimi nilipele kwa ile place na ni kama wali ni abandon so nikaka hapo nilikuwa tu ni survival for the fittest kila time tuko tunafunga shule nilikuwa narudishwa na polisi kwa sababu nilikuwa nasema sitaki ku go back your place no one understood me kila mtu alikuwa anaona ni kama yani huu ah, nikaa taki shule but hakuna mtu alikuwa na understand the experience yenye nilikuwa na go through but uh, i thank god i didn't finish nikarudi hii place mimi mwenyewe nikajitafutia shule na the moment tu niliyeroliwa hivi no one represented me kama mzazi akasema any meeting za shule nini ni secretary wetu ndio alikuwa ni represent your time unaona mm. kila time msi alikuwa na kama shule alikuwa na kama kunia cues of something yani unaona nimekuwa depressed nimekuwa all those kind of stuff so but uh, over hizo vitu zote hizo na mazote zilikuwa zina ni direct church kwa nenda tu church mimi na pray kwa sababu nilikuwa najua only god ndio alikuwa na ana watch over my back no no so nilikuwa naenda church na pray tu na lilia god na muambia mse wasa wange jua zile machozi zina mwagango pale kwa church as in hata kukuja tu hii interview this was my my dream yani kufika tu hii place no no kwa sababu ili fika point nilikuwa naona nilifika point nikaanza ku feel this nothing good can come out of me yani unaona sasa singine unaenda hivi your own brother na kuangalia hivi anakuambia hii mziki na kusaidia na nini but he doesn't see vijana wengi wanadai wengine wameingia kwa crime wengine wameingia kwa drugs kuna vile hii music imenipatia certain character yenye mimi mwenyewe kwa leo sijai understand unaona but uh, to, to them hiyo i count au anataka kuona results while me na focus on process mm. me don't focus on result me me focus on kwa process yangu that's what and pata me i don't compete i don't do all this kwa sababu there is a certain path god ameniweka ndani na through that path muambia god nitumie wase wacha wase nipate kwa hii path no no si fuati trend si do anything but kwa sababu unajua god alin call on this purpose so yeah how does it feel now you're living your dream 
I think six to ten years ago, I mean, I can I remember Nilienda kwa studio tu producer akaniambia simama hapo. Akaniambia one day you remember this picture. So akanipiga tu picture. Nilikuwa nimekonda yani ungeangalia tu hivi ngono uja maye nyewe jo ni problem yani unaona. So yeah. Mimi kufika tu hapa muambia tu ni grace ya God. Sio mimi, si ati mimi ni mnoma ama nini. Ni zile tu mlango God ananifungulia. Una relate aje na watu wa kwenu sai. Uh, to be honest, all I can say is that uh, I remember the, it, it was last week, but one to make one Nimetoka kwa broken family. Nimetoka place atujai experience love. Nani pata? Nimetoka place yenye and I'm not saying this maybe kiki ama nini. Ini life yangu. Kwa sababu ata za hii na feel niko alone, na feel niko empty, na feel niko na feel too many iko. Unaona? Hata sahi after hii interview, I don't know, sijui ni kitoka inje nda dunini next. Sijui kama nda pata my meal, sijui kama nda pata nini. Unaona pata. So, for me, familia yetu, tuko separate. Tuko separated hivu. Mi use manga ni funeral ndo itatuleta pamoja. We? Kwa sababu, Kwa that's, for real, hapu ndo mali tumefika. We? Nikona wase waneza nishika mikono, nikona wase waneza ni support. But those are the same same people when you're not going to be able fail. They go yes, they will want be a way to come and end. So they can decide to focus on their family. Me na hasolingi kama often. Me na hasolingi kama mse. Me u hasol kama mse mo nye. Si ju kama nta unakesho. So anything na get sai, anything na na achieve sai, mo ambia go thank you. Nani pata? I remember last time. It was last week, but one. Nilikalisha brother angu vile tumeka hapo. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying this kumaribia jina, but this is the truth. Mm -hmm. And I ask for forgiveness. For usheji patamali, ujui ni nini mekosa na nasista hako. Ujui ni nini umedu. Mm -hmm. Unaona? No kiangalia hivyo ni msana kukose aga kila wakati. But ume decide to, me I'll not focus on that. Mm -hmm. Ume focus tu na ile tumezali wa wawili. No, no. Mm. If anything it any happen here, say mm. you'll be uta, in one or the other you'll feel it. Mm. If anything it aku happen here, in one or the other, and they feel. Mm. No, no. Na and to be honest, ni lienda pe vuto kwa roho ya kunyanya kia na ni kase mani me kama pa in peace. Ni me kama kuwa for forgiveness. Ni bada kama kubamba. Na bora angum bigi forgiveness. And to be honest, anyway. Ali ni ulizo mekuja pa marangapi kuni ask for forgiveness. Ni kambia ni mekuja maramingi sana. Unanipata? Na ni kamuambia the reason why I'm coming here every day is because ujai ni yampi umeni samea. So, tukiwa hapa utunaongea, haka nipigia story. And I'm saying this because nilifeel. Haka niambia five months ago, wali have fight na mse. Na mse haka mdunga na makasi kwa mkono. Na he didn't retaliate or akufanya kitu ya ote. The guy haka come the second day, haka mwask for forgiveness. Haka ambia wea ni mea kusame hea. The guy haka come the, tena almost karibu three times kukonfirm. Kaniambe uja masa hiu ni itagambaka bro. Nika mwambia skiza. Uu ni stranger me mforgive. Mini meko niki come up almost karibu for the rest of my life. Niki kwa for forgiveness. Nuja ni ambia. Umeni forgive. Katoka ni kaenda. Ni kamuambia. Wewe nduta put distance between me na watoi wako. Mimi stuck you to grow kama wa relatives. We don't even talk to each other. We don't even call each other. We don't do anything to each other. Ni kamuambia. Is that the path ya nyuno taka tuende? Kanembe. In fact, don't even talk about my kids. Uja ni saidia kuwalea. Paka mwale wamefika. Hapo ndo nidijo ni kopeke yangu. So mimi katoka. Na mimi kaishia. Na ni kasema leva come back. Popote goda ta nipeleka huko ndo minta enda. So, mi siyezi fake ama siyezi sichomi ati kusema ini life yangu. Ini kitu na experience daily. Nani pata? Nimekua ni kienda kwa kia ya puneva even ask anything. Ata nisaidia ama ni dukitu yoyote. Kuna time ata sikuwa na malipa kulala. Kuna time ata nimeishi geto. 
Nilifika kwa life yangu place niko na vitu mbili. Either I go back to ghetto ama nikose kwenda mali paku pakuka. So what happened ni a friend of mine nilikana for almost 3 years. Akanipatia 2k, akaniambia enda utafute hao. And I always appreciate that guy kwa sababu yeye ndio alinifungulia step ya kukuwa na hao yangu first. So it took Kenya nikashindwa tena hapi. Nili go back ghetto. Nikapata nyumba ya mabati. Na nikajiambia this is where I'll start my life. So hiyo time nilikuwa kwa relationship. So nika try, nika try ku demo wangu alikuwa aniambia wewe tafuta hao, tafuta hao, tafuta hao. Kampeleka ghetto. And that was the last time hata kushika phone call yangu. Aliniacha na kaniambia siwezi go back mali mamangu siwezi shi maisha mamangu amenilea and kasema ni sawa i was broken but nilisema at least nime achieve niko na mali at least na za paita home and that's why i started my life mm. yeah yeah when you communicate with god jo i assume ukimba okay, gospel yeah yeah mm, then you na communicate na god yeah. communicate na soja mm -hmm. unamwambia je unamkumbusha mali amekutoa Lyrics that was not sound at you. Is For it me, Thanksgiving? Are you talking about things you're going through now? Uh, me, I'm an evangelist. Mzikizangu eh? notice there's a certain direction of wenda. Kai ngoma ni me do latest in it what to end it. And be also to end it to Christ. It's a simple song. And uh, and to be honest, every time you you bonga na siyezi se matina kwa gana a certain way ya pray. Mimi huenda ngakwambia God the way I'm feeling. Unaona tu vile unaweza ndakwambia mzae wako, "Eh hey, dad, even though vile mimi nasikia." That is exactly how I communicate with God. Unaona, nikiwa down, mu mwambia niko down. Nikiwa sawa na mwambia gani niko sawa. Nikifika place ya ku make decision na mwambie ndio decision nimekama. I don't know what to do. Unaona? Mimi sinanga ti formula ti ndasema ti this is the certain way na fa ku pray ama nini. Mimi na ndanga tu kwa God ka budangu. Vile mu bonga na, ni, yani vile msio bonga na budaki ndo vile mu wenda kubonga na God. Mambia God even do vile mi na feel. Niko broken. Relationship yangu medunda. I don't know what to do. Sijui ni wapi nita ingia. Sijui ni wapi nita enda. Unaona? Take care of my heart yani. And uh, through that yani tu. Kitoka ngapu na toka gatu na pisi yangu. Wee. <sighs> Nani Badoko, uh, to follow on Facebook, <laughs> Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on the gram. Hey, Moha, mm -hmm. story yako ni deep. We. Yeah, there's a reason why God at anapanya as in happen hivi. Yeah. Kama kuna mtu nakuwatch, mm -hmm. nana feel the same, exact same things uli kuna feel before. Mm -hmm. Kwanza saya kikuona, West Sand una utiza karo model. Hadi ya kukua TV. Nge pena kumshu nini? Panda tu kuwa show, yani... Where to joke on a god? You too. And it's the only person when you the only guy when you have easy watch and no matter what. Mabako and a kutoka. Budako and a kutoka. Broyako, anyone and a kutoka. But God has a kutoka. God had a reason why Konini Baka Leo he who alive. Yeah. It is an honor to have met you today. Nikiam Kaskona Jonta Patana. I'm sorry. It's a lot. Nila is at the end of the day. Social media. Social media yangu ni Moha Punch Buzz, IG, kila maali, as in tutu, ukitafta Moha Punch Buzz, utanipata. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Sasa so, after tuende, unatupatea nini ingine? Uh, songs ni mob, and, uh, but kitu fani ni ati, grifu wata ni malize ni, just sharpen skill yako. Na zambi ule artista kwa hapo, just sharpen skill yako. Kuna wasa wana kusikiza tu. Maybe it will take time, kwa sababu unacheki, kama ngoma zangu mo muzi upload to youtube na naacha na nazo wewe utanipata ti sijui na chocha nini but ita fall kwa kwa sababu there is a prayer and ilikuwa naambia god acha ngoma zangu ule mtu atasikia i manifest kwa life yake na nipata na ilikuwa inangukia ma producer na inangukia ma director wa videos tu yani mm -hmm. msana kukola na kwambie ni haje nasikiza hii song unataka aje eh kama tufanye video and that's it kama hii twende there is a guy na to King Otis mm. King Otis is one of the best directors na mwenye ali record hiyo ngoma anaitwa Ustizi they are one of the best saa hii naweza sema kwa sababu msetu alisikia tunaka like hiyo song akaniambia tunaweza do vitu na nikaambia ni sawa 
kanambia story ya doni ni wetu tafuta locations and then tutadu Kenya tutadu so nikadu hivyo and uh, here i am today na hata iko kama hapa hii place i prayed is one ilikuwa kwa one of my prayer items sema tu jui kuna watu wengi sana wame dreams zao zimeishia youtube zimeishia kwa cd zimeishia mm. kwa studio they don't know what next but the moment to put god in everything the moment to put god in your career or even in your relationship or marriage kuna tu vile god ucheza kieye unaona god you connect vitu kama wewe tu jamaa mwenye i will shoot video yani ni msi tumekuwa naye kwa industry alikuwa rapper nini all those kind of stuff na siku moja tu akanipata tu tuko kwa event ya Kenya Holy Hip Hop mm. so we were just there doing our event and nikamwona na ni record na phone so we started talking nini nini na kaniambia ni aje mimi nime like hizo so kaniambia ni sawa kaniambia tunafanya video na ika happen and here i am today mm. so every time you align your things na god this there's a way god you provide there's a way god you yuko show tu ka light flani mm-hmm. kenye tu watu wengine hawataiona but kuna tu vile tu kuna ile path to god yuko ondolea vitu his grace is sufficient exactly so any testimony basically you're a mm. walking testimony yeah yeah mm. no kio moko utatusahau utatusahau <laughs> mimi kwanza ada kwa story ya kuomoka mimi mm. nambianga tu god anipatie grace kwa sababu unajua there some things ukiwa kwa power mu ukiwa kwa do there some things there some elements zote okay yani unaona mm-hmm. but muombianga god pia during hiyo season ama during hiyo period akuwe tu na mimi mm-hmm. mimi nataka kuwa buda mwenye ako na familia na watu hii mm-hmm. yani nataka kuwa family guy yani msiaki niangalia hivi wasanii wamearibu wamechoma picha huko nje ni ukweli yani unacheki yeah. wasanii wamechoma picha yani mababy mamas manini me i don't i don't want that kind of life mm-hmm. unanipata mimi ni msi wife mmoja watu hii yani nikitoka show ama nikitoka mali natoka nikikaa mnapata watu hiyo wangu hiyo ndio joy yangu azina una wife yangu yani ndio na yenyewe huyu ni kitu god alinipatia unanipata mm. staki hizi mambo za ati hii si jumeenda show ume, umevukana na mimi i don't want that mimi mm-hmm. nataka kwa sababu tumetoka kwa broken family unaona na prayer yangu ilikuwa wacha mama yangu akuwe the last marehemu mama yangu akuwe the last person kure ku, uh, sorry kule watoi wao ama watoi wake akiwa single mom mi nilikata hiyo generation nilikata mm. nikambia god no divorce kwa life yangu mimi nitalea watoi wangu na madhao na watoi wa, na na, na watoi wangu tukiwa pamoja tuwe tuko nazo ama hatuna nataka kuhaviwa family setup nani pata how can i home leo Mm-hmm. Nataka uandike hizo vitu zote unakumbuka ukitoa machozi ukitisha yeah, yeah. God na umezipata. Exactly. And, and I want you to never never feel alone again. So, thank you. Mimi sijui sasa hiyo nimempatia ni instructions ni kama napatia dawa at three good. times a day. <laughs> eh, this is when you feel some thing. type of way take mm-hmm. it once. No, I, I yeah, don't. Yeah. But my sincere prayer for you napenda kuomba by the way pia mimi. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. <laughs> mimi mkiniona binguni mtastuka. <laughs> Guys, I'm that friend. Yeah. But I, I, I hope you never feel alone again but eh, mm-hmm. and I home want kids of it zote 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 hata kama ni socks mm-hmm. will buy want mm-hmm. eh, kuna times kuna socks mm-hmm. kuna times kuna kiti mm-hmm. kuna nikihama siko na kiti for the longest time yeah, yeah. so nilikuwa na lala la, la, tu vena lala na kuja kwa tv na act normal <laughs> so when i got the things that i got mm-hmm. nilizi andika kaambia god thank you thank you sasa unajua tukiendelea hivi hii interview haita why isha <laughs> And yeah, yeah. I'm okay with that and that is a problem because yeah. now we we have to have some sort of order all right so mm-hmm. Mr. Kikwachilia but I cannot wait for you to come back yeah. okay na urudi na mangoma sana sana tuaribu na EP ukasirike we have the album ni sawa nazo takuja nazo all right it yeah. has been an honor thank you Walai. thank you thank you thank you enjoy my venue many times thank you at white for facebook white for channel on twitter white for underscore channel on other gram hashtag is Thursday five don't go away